Okay, um, so now we're going to talk about die hybrid crosses. So die hybrid cross is simply when you have two traits um, instead of just one. Um, so now Mendel kind of came across this too, and he, in our previous ones, we should let me backtrack a little bit. In our previous ones, we were only looking at one. We we're doing a monohybrid cross, and a monohybrid cross, what happens is the let's say we take axial versus terminal flowers. Okay, we just looked at that trait, or we looked at, say, round seeds, or wrinkled seeds, or green seeds, or smooth, or green seeds and yellow seeds, sorry. Um, so now what Mendel started to look at was, well, let's look at two of them at the same time. Um, so, for instance, if um, I got a, a green seed versus yellow seed, does that change whether or not I get axial flowers or terminal flowers because they're going to have flowers and they're going to have seeds both so what we're going to use is uh, these four-sided die now um, you're going to need two of them one for each organism so here's one four-sided die and here's another four-sided die so um, how do you use these first off because unless you're um, you know someone like me and kind of a when I was younger I played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons so we use all these wild crazy kinds of dye um, but uh, what happens with these dye is that when you roll them no matter how they roll there'll be one number that's on the bottom no matter how you spin it notice the, the one is always on the bottom there okay so and then if I lands another way now the two is on every side so whatever lands on the bottom and is face up looking at you um, is going to be the number that you get. Okay, so let's talk through this. So if you roll a 1, a 1 will mean that you have a combination of big R, big A. If you get a 2, you're going to have a big R, little a. If you get a 3, a little r, big A, and a 4 is a little r and a little a. So if we were to do a uh, Punnett square, it would look like this. So here is... Our square and so if you land if you get a one you're gonna get a big R big A if you get a two you're gonna get a big R little a a three is gonna be a little R big A and a four is a little R and a little A and the same thing goes for this side for the other die big R big A two big R little a three a little r big a and a four is a little r and a little a so you should make this chart this punnett square and then when you start rolling so i will roll and, and let's say I end up with this you can see that I'll turn it this way here i got a four and a four two fours okay so what would that be four and a four put a dash down here okay so I want you to roll those um, well first I want you to to go ahead and predict what you would get with all these okay what would be the the ratios there's a couple of questions underneath there um, and then when you finish those questions uh, you're going to go on and you're going to actually uh, roll this for a total of Hmm, 24 times, like it rolled 24 times, the double die, and just see what you get. And see if it comes out close, okay? All right, thanks very much.